this is Tina, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to pick up an idea that I saw on Joey DeFee's channel. She made some wonderful snippet rolls um, in a completely different way that I had never seen before. She used matte paper and scraps of paper and then she turns them around and kind of snips them down the opposite way to how you would expect them to be. Um, which obviously results in a completely unknown, um, you know, uh, creation basically so really exciting i saw her video a few weeks ago and i've been wanting to try it ever since so i finally got round to it first of all can i just apologize for the state of my hands i have just been doing two other videos where i got really really messy and um yeah i can't clean the ink off at the moment so um yeah i do apologize for that and i've also got um texture paste and things so i'm really sorry if i just look really awful so what you're going to need to do this, and I will try and link um, Joey's video below, but you're going to need some scraps. So I have just torn up some scraps of papers. And then as I say, she used some map paper for her background. I am going to use this large book page. So I'm just going to switch my sewing machine on. Um, so it's a large book page, as you can see. And I mean, I don't know what size it is, but yeah, maybe it's A3 or something. And so I'm going to make my snippets like running the strips down I think is how I want to do it and then I'm going to tear them across like that so if I show you kind of you know what I'm what I'm intending to do so I'm just going to take strips and just literally stitch them on so just get my sewing machine and I'm just going to do them now shall I do them in a zigzag can I can I manage a zigzag? That's the question. Right, let's have a go. Okay, so here we go. Try and get it a bit faster. And I'm using black thread, so as I've got a nice contrast, basically, to you know the pages that I'm using. So I'm just going to stop now and get my next sheet ready to pop in. So I might pop in some of this pink. Actually, I've probably got some that's a bit wider. I tore a, you know, a bunch of strips down before doing the video. And of course now, you know, they're not necessarily the size that I, you know, would have liked. So I should have been a bit more consistent with my tearing, but never mind. So I'm just going to tear this one down to get rid of that white edge. And I'm just going to tear across here as well. And actually I've just realized I didn't need to tear that other one down because of course they're going to be kind of you know torn going the other way so you know it doesn't matter how your strips are if that makes sense so we're just going down with the zigzag strips now she was super clever and did not have to take her um you know piece of paper out or anything she was able to just turn it around I'm not sure whether I'm that clever, to be honest, to be able to do that. So we'll see how it goes. If I just go across here and then, no, I don't know whether she would have just lifted it out and then kind of turn it round like that. So then I'm just going to go back down with another bunch of strips. So exactly the same like that. Well, hey, I think I have managed to do it without taking my piece of paper out. So that's awesome. I had my doubts, to be honest, whether I was going to manage that. But yeah, I have managed it. So, I mean, this is such a super quick way of using up a bunch of stuff. I can't tell you. Right, now, shall we have this piece here? So again, just, just slot that in there. I'll just tear this off so it does slot in a bit better next to my other piece and again just clamp that down stitch that down and then again I'm just going to turn it round hopefully be able to come across to where I'm going to have my next row of papers I mean, I just love finding new ways of doing things. It's just, you know, it's so exciting, isn't it? When you find something that you've not tried before. 
So here I've got this sheet here and actually what I might do is tear it this way down because like I say, the sheet of paper actually is going to be torn this way round. So these sheets can actually be pretty long. So I'll just put that here. down there yeah I've wanted to try these for absolutely weeks and you know when things just keep on getting in the way and then you're doing something else so it's really um, you know nice to finally finally do these I'm just going to finish it with this one just because you know it was a bit short for the page so She also did a really, really clever flower, which I have never done a flower, uh, seen a flower done the way she did it. Um, I would have to go back and watch her video again, to be honest, to be able to show you that. But very, very cool. And um, yeah, well worth checking it out and seeing how she did it. So I've got this page now. So I'm just going to tear this down. Again, trying to just get rid of those white edges. And just have this then running along there. I think she had hers, um, you know, I think hers were straight edges. I mean, I always just really like the torn edges. So, but you could use your tear ruler, you could use your, you know, your uh, paper cutter, however you wanted to, you know, finish your pages off. I just, I just like the torn look personally, but you know, do it exactly as you fancy. Back down there, and then I might just fill it in again with another one of these florally ones. So I'll just go a bit closer and then just tear this down. Okay, probably tear it down here like that. need to even fill this one in with another little bit. So maybe I'll put that under there. Maybe there. Maybe like that. Okay. I mean, it probably doesn't really matter, but just so as I've got plenty there. Okay, and then we turn it round again. I mean, actually, I'm loving the look of this, even, even without tearing it into snippets. It looks really lovely, doesn't it? So again, I'm just going to tear this now. We just have a bit of this now here. Oh, these are going to be a little bit addictive to make, I think. So yeah, I can picture myself getting quite hooked on making these. I've been loving snippet rolls and things like that lately. And um, you know, this is a really fun way to make them that I had never seen before and just really very different and fun. So um, yeah, I can picture myself making these quite a bit coming along, you know, from now on. They're very fun. Right, let me just tear a slightly sort of wider strip of this. Oh, I have got that, but that's quite skinny. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, to be honest. So let's just pop that one in. Ah, oh, yeah, this is very, very, very fun. Right, let's just get that white edge off a little bit more. Okay. Right, and then we just go down here. And then that's that entire sheet completely filled. So we're just then take that out yeah I mean I have to say for some reason I'm absolutely loving this sheet just exactly as that is I don't know about snippet rolls but <laughs> I just love that sheet full stop it looks gorgeous doesn't it yeah I really really like it I don't know whether I can bring myself to tear it up now oh gosh honestly what a, what a wally because that's not the purpose of this video at all it was to make my snippet rolls but now I'm like oh I don't want to tear it 
ridiculous. Right, let me put this to one side. We'll make another one and then maybe I will be a little bit more inclined to actually tear into it. You know, perhaps I'll, I'll be a bit braver. Right, so let's use some other colours as well. So I'll just pop this one in. You know when um, you make things and they're really nice to hold? I mean, I feel that way very much about my collage masterboard scrapbook. Um, I absolutely love it. And to be honest, I'm struggling to make myself use it because I love the feel of it so much. Um, so I have used it obviously on occasions. I've got two of them. I may have to make another one because I just love it so much that I'm kind of, I don't want to tear into it. It's just so tactile and nice to hold and that's a bit how that sheet of paper felt you know with the um the uh just deciding which which piece to use next whether to use just another oh well let's just use this one um yeah it's a bit how i feel about that with those strips you know stitched on oh it just has this awesome feel about it because it kind of takes on this heavy kind of, um, I don't know, but yeah, I like it very much. So, <laughs> but I must try and be strong and actually not, not hold it. So right, go across again. Oh, I'm quite proud that I can manage to do this, to be honest, and you know, not tearing the paper so far anyway. Who knows? Who knows whether I will. Uh, manage it for the whole video but okay, okay. and I might just have to tear another strip down in a second from this one I think Yeah, very, very fun. Oh, thank you so much, Joey. It's a lovely idea. And um, very clever, very clever. I mean, obviously we've not, you know, we've not torn them yet. So if you didn't see her video, then you might be wondering, you know, where I'm going with this. But yeah, when I tear it, you'll kind of then, you know, it will hopefully all come clear then what we've been doing this for. I'm just going to, I think, have this, this here. And it just happened that I happened to have that perfect book to use for these, um, you know, with the larger pages. Okay. I mean, that one, unfortunately, that was very wide for the, um, you know, for the strip, it was, you know, really wide, but never mind, it doesn't matter. Just love, like, finding new ways to do things and new things to try. It's just so exciting, isn't it? So, um, you know, anything at all, but that you find and as I say I had seen this so you know so many weeks ago that I wish I'd tried it sooner now because it really is very very cool okay and I mean as if we don't have scraps I mean we've all got scraps haven't we so it's a brilliant way to use them up. Right, so let's just have this piece, I think, to finish this off. And then we've got one more strip, obviously, to do on this page, so. Okay, and then we'll just turn that round once more. And just, you know, move it aside again. 
and then I might just have one last one last rosy piece I think maybe that way no I get rid of that black and have it more like that I think right so let's move it right over just move my paper over a bit more I'm just going to just tear that down slightly because otherwise it's a little bit too too wide there and I think we'll just have another neutral piece to just kind of finish it off so perhaps we'll have a neutral piece going here that's just just the right size there and then perhaps we could just have another bit here wow my stitching is hideously you know, crooked and wonky, I must say. Right, let's have a look and see how this sheet looks. I mean, as I say, I must not get attached to it as a sheet because, of course, it's not going to be a sheet. But, oh, look how lovely that looks. It's yummy, isn't it? So then, of course, you can just tear your, or, you know, um, you know, finish all your sides off. So I'm just going to tear them down a little bit so it's not quite so huge like that. Oh, I still can't bring myself to do it. Oh, what is wrong with me? Right. <laughs> she, at this point, took hers to the um, paper trimmer and it was snicked then obviously very straight. Now, I'm wondering whether I would like mine torn. I can't really decide. Um... I do like torn edges. Obviously, I would have to then cut into the stitches. Um, she did have to do that occasionally on the sewing machine anyway, or on, sorry, on the paper trimmer anyway. So, you know, that's not really a problem. So if I start here, so you can see underneath where my book page is, and I'm just going to tear that down. And then, you know, where I've got a stitch, I'm just going to snip past the stitch. So then I tear it down again, and then just again, Snip into the stitch and then tear that piece down again. Snip into the stitch like that. Down again. And then just that bit there. And then we've just got one more row of stitches, which is just here. And we're going just snip into that okay and that's your snippet roll isn't that just genius I love it that's so clever absolutely brilliant so if I just show you you know if this were a journal page I mean clearly it's not but if it was that's how that would be on the page so I mean obviously here I can just tear that down you know to make that a better fit for the page and obviously you can now go down, you can stitch that around the edges. So on this one, for instance, I might just stitch this down. So I'll just do a little bit of stitching down the sides and the edges. I mean, of course you don't have to do that. You know, you could just use a bit of glue or something. Hers was not so flappy as this um, because she was obviously using much narrower strips of paper. And of course she wasn't tearing, she was doing them on the, you know, the paper trimmer. And so hers were not sort of flapping about like mine. Um, but, you know, I think either sort of worked perfectly fine. I don't mind having it like this and then stitching down as well. So I just then stitch down this side. Like that. So, I mean, that's just helped to hold mine together. But as I say, hers were not flapping about like mine because she'd done them narrower um, strips and they weren't torn. So, you know, if you don't want to have to sort of stitch it down or glue it down, then, yeah, follow her um, original video where she obviously makes them 
you know, much smaller and much less torn, torn edges. Um, whoops, trim that down. But isn't that just gorgeous? I love it. Absolutely love it. Honestly, I'd wanted to try this for ages and yeah, really, really like them. And then she put on hers, she put a flower in the middle. I don't really have, oh, she made a flower, like I said earlier. She um, made a flower that I'd never kind of seen one quite done like that before. But just to kind of give you a couple of, couple of ideas, I've got some flowers here. I've got some of my little dice printables. I can just now trim this off. This is um, not dice. Domino. Domino printables. And if I just trim that up a little bit more, oops, like that. And then what you could do is obviously just, you know, you could just staple that on there. How cute is that as a little embellishment piece? You know, or of course you could have it this way round, that way round, you could put it, you know, they're just, I mean, like a regular snippet roll, you could use them anywhere and, you know, in any sort of way that you wanted, really. So if I just bring my stapler in, I mean, to be fair, you could even stitch that flower on, actually. I wonder whether we could do that. Should we try? Let's have a go. Might use a straight stitch. And just try and get that right the way. And just go back through it. Okay. Like that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then if I just trim off my my threads. Oh, my thread switch are now everywhere. Okay. Right. Get them all off. Like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Looks really sweet, doesn't it? And of course, you could add a little dab of glue. And, you know, of course, you could add some lace and things. So let me just pull in some lace now. You could just kind of add a bit of lace to your your roll. This is that lace that I love to kind of cut, cut in a teary type way. I know there's no such word as teary, but you know, couldn't think of how else to describe it. So you could just kind of have a bit of lace there. Isn't that gorgeous? So, I mean, again, you know, you've got really endless possibilities with these, to be honest. It's such a clever idea. So maybe you could have that there. So let's just stitch that down now. So I'm just going to pop that lace on there. Okay. Actually, I'll just go through that domino again. Because it's just not flapping around. How cool is that? I just absolutely love these. Oh, they're really, really, really nice. So that's that one. Now, can I bring myself to tear into that paper anymore? Oh, I don't know. Ridiculous. Right, let me put that to one side. So obviously we've got, you know, loads more on here. Mm, I can't bring myself to use it. What is wrong with me? Oh, what is wrong with me? Hmm. Right. Shall I tear it down? Can I bring myself to? Oh no. Well, we've got a section here that's completely neutral, if you can see that. So should we tear that one down? And um, we'll just do something with that. So just tear that like that. And then down a bit more. So yeah, I mean, these are very, very quick and easy to make. I mean, they're probably much quicker than the conventional snippet rolls, I would say. You know, that obviously you have to kind of 
assemble lots of different bits and pieces, these seem to take no time at all. So if you're looking for quick, this, this is the one for you. So there we go. And then just take that off like that. And then just snip these bits off like that. Okay. Oops. Now, what do we want to do? Do we want to, we could just put some lace on there now, straight away. So I'm just bringing that bit that I just chopped off of the other piece and we could just have a bit here, I think, there or here. Because, you know, that's what you kind of do with then, you know, a regular, regular snippet roll. So I'm just going to stitch that lace on. They're just super fun, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I just really like finding new ways to do things and, um, you know, new new things to play with and new, new ideas. So, really cute. I'm just going to tear the end. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, are you okay, darling? I'm just doing a video, sweetheart. My daughter's just come in from the park. My husband just took her to the park. So, um, she's obviously fallen off of something at the park. I'm not being unsympathetic, but she doesn't look, she doesn't look too bad. She's coming walking. She's not kind of um, limping or anything really, really terrible. So hopefully she's okay. Okay, let's just see. See what else we could add here. So I've got a little bit of number. We could have that there. So I just, again, just stitch that on. Speaking, darling. Did you have a good time? Yes, I know. Yes, I am doing a video, but you can speak a bit. <laughs> Otherwise, people will think I'm talking to myself. Did you have a nice time? Yes, I know. What's that that you've got there? Japanese, Japanese rice cracker things, are they? Oh. They look good, don't they? They do look good. Right, let's just grab a couple of things. I want to keep this piece really colourless. I don't very often do colourless. And um, I just felt a little bit inspired because it had, you know, it was colourless. I kind of thought, well, let's, let's keep it colourless because, like I say, it's not often that I, that I do colourless. So let's just pop that little bit plate on there. thread now caught up on something oh gosh I thought this was all going a little bit well for me with the sewing machine right there we go I don't know seem to get that hooked up on something but never mind Oops, maybe I've got maybe I've got something kind of caught let's have a look right that's better just kind of if in doubt take it all out right there we go Okay, let's hope that I've got enough thread coming through and it's not going to just, you know, ping out like it sometimes does. And then I just want to have something up the other end. So again, I'm just looking for something neutrally coloured. So I just snip that off. And then this one here. Just tidying up, basically, the, um, you know, the hangy threads. There we go. I just want something here. Let's just have a look and see. See what else I've got that's pretty neutral. I don't really want another thing, you know, another book plate or anything. So I'm thinking a number or something would be quite good. Or maybe a label. Oh, that's not very neutral. That's quite yellow. 
I mean, a word would be good, but I don't think I've got any words with me. We could have that one, or we could have this one here. That's quite nice, isn't it? Perhaps we'll have that. Perhaps we'll have that. What would be good is if I had any neutrally coloured flowers. Again, I don't think I have. So that's a bit of a shame. Let's put those there. I'll just see whether there's any, anything else in my little, my little pouch next to me that is kind of vaguely neutral. I don't think I have. I have, I think, got some doily somewhere. Just, I, not there. I've got some in here. Right, well I've got some different lace. Perhaps we could just just have a little little snippet of different lace. Because you know it's all it's all just getting some different things on really, isn't it? So perhaps we'll have it have it like that. So I'm just going to just glue uh, not glue, sorry, just run the stitch straight through there that will hopefully then incorporate the lace and the label. Like that, okay. Snip that off, and there. There we go. Oh, they are so gorgeous, aren't they? I love those. Right, well, that's probably it. Now, I will now, you know, wrestle, wrestle with the concept of actually cutting in or tearing into this sheet that yeah, I'm struggling to now cut into. I'm just kind of now verging on hoarding this completely. So yeah, that one and this <laughs> remainder of this. Um, but yeah, I hope that you like them. I may come back and make some more actually when I get a minute because they're really super nice. So Joey, if you catch my video at all, I just want to say thank you so much. What a fantastic idea really really super clever so i love them thank you very much okay well i hope that you have fun if you decide to do some i will try and link um joey's video below if for any reason i forget please just nudge me and i will put that down there so hope that you like them and thank you so much for joining thanks then bye <laughs>